Good evening, YouTube world. Welcome back for another plated unboxing. I have no idea what's in the box. We ordered this before we went to New Orleans for a week and had lots and lots of yummy Cajun food. So we knew when we got back we weren't going to want to cook. Therefore, plated. Or at least not grocery shop. So, let's see. We have... Roasted lemon shallot halloumi cheese with jeweled Israeli couscous. Seared steak with garlicky potatoes and Greek salad. Ooh, salad. After all the Cajun food and stuff, I feel the need for lighter fare for a little while. Uh -huh. And a lot of exercise. A uh -huh. lot. Yes, YouTube world, I put on some weight while I was in New Orleans. Like about four pounds, to be honest. Not proud of that, but that's okay. It was tasty and yummy. All right. So we have romaine hearts. Those are obviously for the Greek salad. We have a bag full of goodies, also for the steak with Greek salad. They were hand-packed with little hearts. I'm assuming that means love. Because sometimes I can be silly. We have parsley. Looks like parsley. It does. Um, I will admit that this box has been in the fridge since it arrived on Wednesday, so it has not been unpacked yet. Uh, oregano. Mm, looks like oregano. Probably smells and tastes like oregano, too, I guess. We have part of an English cucumber. Very sizing. Yes, it was. Some feta cheese for the Greek salads. A lovely little bag of red potatoes. Kalamata olives. Also for the Greek salads. Uh, we have herbs. Rosemary, thyme, and crushed red pepper. Oh, and parsley. Just no sage. Bad jokes. Garlic. Garlic is good. And we have... Holy cow, those are cold! Uh, a lemon and a tomato. Other way around. Yes, I did that on purpose. Do not adjust your color, color calibration on your monitors. Yes, I'm exhausted. I was up most of last night, so... Therefore, my brain isn't working real well. All right, this is for the halloumi and the jeweled Israeli couscous and the roasted lemon shallot halloumi cheese. All right. Pistachios. Nice sized ones. Oh, my God. Mm, smell the herb mix that's clinging to the outside of that bag. Mm, yes. I smell clove. There is white wine, ground cloves, and cardamom. Okay. Currants, dried. Uh, dried apricots. It's so cute. There's like four little dried apricots. The Israeli couscous. A lemon and a shallot. That is the lemon. That is the shallot. That is the smallest shallot we have ever gotten from plated. It's absolutely normal sized. As opposed to looking like a pit bull. Yeah. That's an American pit bull. Um, okay. Ah, good. The halloumi cheese. Handmade. From goat and sheep's milk, salt, non-animal rennet, mint. It's herbed already. Okay. And for the other meal, some beef top round. Okay. That's it for that box. Now, the interesting part of this story is that we actually ordered two boxes because the plated wouldn't let us order eight meals. Bad plated. Bad, bad plated. We wanted to try 
four different meals and you can't add eight plates to your cart. So we had to have them delivered on two different days. Box number two. I have not started yet. Yeah, I'm glad the fridge is already pretty empty. We're going to need that. Box number two contains, for our dining pleasure, oh boy, <laughs> homemade chorizo with paella style rice. Mm -hmm. We had some really good chorizo when we were in New Orleans too, by the way. It was at, um, what was the name of the restaurant? Do you remember? Too many restaurants, too little time. Yeah. I'll post it in the comments. And creamy tahini and roasted red pepper spaghetti. Which also looks good. I'm glad I had dinner because otherwise I'd be drooling really heavily right now. All right. For the chorizo with rice, we have in bag number one, yeah, I know, I need more space. Peas. Sweet paprika. More garlic. Half of an onion. That is actually the first time I think I've gotten half of an onion. They used to just send a whole onion. Chicken base. Another tomato. Some bamba rice and apple cider vinegar and the spice packets in there. I want to smell the spice packet other than the paprika. We found a spice market in New Orleans too. They had so many beautiful paprikas. We came home with a fair amount of spices. Like our spice cabinet wasn't already slightly over full. This whole cabinet right here, this is our spice cabinet. <laughs> all that's in there is herbs and spices we need help <laughs> do not make the cameraman laugh yeah that's what the stabilization is for the bomba rice mm -hmm. the apple cider vinegar which has leaked mm -hmm. that's okay i have more i can supplement that if needed i just need to measure that and the chorizo spices mm -hmm. Oh, when they say homemade chorizo, they mean I'm going to be making the chorizo. So. Mm. I suggest bag all that stuff back up. Yeah. Wait, I think I'm running out of space over here or something? Yeah. I actually want to separate the stuff that needs to go in the fridge from the stuff that doesn't need to yeah, go in the fridge. Yeah, but for now, I'll keep it together right now. Yes, we bicker. Doesn't everybody? I guess. If you're not bickering in your relationship, you're doing something wrong. A little bit is healthy. Or so it seems, because we've been together for, what, 17 yeah, years? 17 years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, this is for the halloumi. There's the halloumi. Shallots. Apricots. There's that. It's for the steak with Greek salad. Salad. Yep, we don't need to go to the grocery store this week. Okay. Back to what I was doing. The other meal is the tahini spaghetti. I love tahini. We have more parsley. Mm -hmm. We have some all-natural Greek strained yogurt, which is actually kind of good. I'm really thrilled to see that because most of the Greek yogurts that I see in the grocery store, they're actually thickened with additional agents like pectin and stuff. Traditional Greek yogurt is actually not. It is filtered and strained through cheesecloth to make it thicker and give it that uh, heavier, creamier consistency. So 
The, sorry, food lecture. I didn't know that. Tahini paste. That's probably for the tahini. You think? Yeah. Just think, most probably. A thing. I think that's called a lemon. He rolled his eyes at me. An onion. Some more sweet paprika. Maple syrup. See, that does not need to stay in the fridge. Some, ooh, wow, black sesame seeds. Mm. I have to say, Plated, you've got pretty good spice suppliers, too. They have usually been very good quality spices. Mm, some people and are. a little bit of soy sauce to go with that. Alrighty. Was supposed to be roasted pepper pasta for the tahini spaghetti. Those are our two peppers. They are very pretty peppers. They smell like herbs and spices. We have some ground pork that is antibiotic free. I'm assuming this is for making the chorizo. Sticking suspicion, yes. Yes. And, ooh, look at that. Homemade pasta. I did not expect that. Alrighty. Thus ends one of the biggest plated unboxings I think we've done. It was a, what, quadruple meal. We will be eating really well this week. And apparently I'm going to be hitting the gym a lot. Have a good week, plated. Look for my reviews.